Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a short, quick video that I actually meant to film and upload in, in January, but I kind of forgot about it. So I really, I was really excited to actually come up with this video idea and kind of go, it goes hand in hand with the brands that I want to try 2021, which is why I forgot to. It's supposed to be in January and I forgot it. But anyways, filming it now. It's going to be short, quick, simple. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, let me know down below and hit the thumbs up. And I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. Welcome to those who are new. Thank you so much for subscribing. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I always forget to say that. But I'm, I'm like running on coffee right now because I'm trying to film this before my classes start. So, wish me luck. <laughs> so... This video idea came to me like when I was preparing like brands 2021, you know, what do I want to try? And and then some um, within that video, which I'll link up here, uh, kind of revisited-ish because at that point I hadn't really tried these brands. So I was open to trying more of them. Um, but brands that I want to revisit in 2021. So these are brands that I have tried over the years and I've tried a lot of their products and I love a lot of their products. But it's just been really a while since I focused on and used a little bit more incorporated it into my collection. Um, maybe it's just a brand that I just haven't tried in forever. Um, and I just used to love their products so, so much back when I was, you know, a young teenager. Well, of course, when you're young, you're a teenager. Um, when I was in high school or like early 20s, um, definitely these are brands that I used to love a lot. And then just some brands that I discovered over the years and I just haven't really bought any other products or I don't have any other products in my collection. So brands I want to revisit in 2021. All right, so I have, it was originally gonna be five, but then you know I have that plus one. <laughs> so the first brand I want to revisit is Bare Minerals. And this one I'm actually really excited because I actually already purchased a couple of products and I do have a couple of products in there in, in my collection. I have their concealer, I have a bronzer, two of the blushes. But when I was in the at Ulta the other day, a couple weeks ago, I saw a concealer that I fell in love with from their line that they had told me, and so she had told me a long time ago, was discontinued. I don't remember where it was that they told me it was discontinued, and I was really disappointed. So they just recommended the serum concealer, which, again, I love that concealer. But I'm so excited to, like, maybe eventually throughout the year at some point, retry their potted concealer. It comes in a little thing like this, and this is their cream concealer, because they also have one, like, in a powder form. But this is their cream concealer, potted form, and I really want to try it again, because I loved that concealer. It was actually probably the first concealer I ever tried in my entire life because I don't remember which one I used for my high school recitals. So I'm excited but I also have a video coming trying their foundation, their original powder foundation, their mineral veil, a primer which I've never tried any of their primers and then what was the other thing and an eyeshadow palette. So I will have that coming after this video which is why I kind of remembered about this video. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to see that, my reactions, my thoughts on that because I had been trying it before because I wanted to give you kind of full thoughts before I filmed the video. Alright, another brand, the second brand I want to revisit is BH Cosmetics. I actually have zero products. I don't have any other palettes. Yeah, I don't have any other products right now. I decluttered everything or yeah, I pretty much decluttered everything. I gave it away because... I don't like big palettes anymore, so yeah. And then uh, their palette for oh, I have one. I forgot. I have one palette. I have their week their festival palette from 2017, which tells you it's almost time to declutter it too. I had their Carly Bible palette, and that one had actually changed on me. I could smell it. It smelled differently, which is why which is why I decided to declutter it. I just felt like it wasn't safe to put, especially around my eyes. I didn't feel safe anymore, even though it was a powder product, but. I just rather err on the side of caution than have something, an infection or sty or whatever the case is, something happened to my eye. No, thank you. So I'm really excited to maybe incorporate uh, maybe a blush palette, even though I said I wasn't going to pick out a blush palette, but I've been wanting that blush palette that's been sold out for months and months and months. Um, and then a couple of their brushes maybe. I do have some of their brushes where I have really favorites. And then definitely like an eyeshadow or, or two. From them I they feel like that's what they do really well their eyeshadow palette so I'm really excited to try those um sometime throughout the year I just you know the year is long we're just now at the beginning of March 
All right, uh, the next one I have is NYX Cosmetics. NYX Cosmetics used to be a brand that I used to collect from. Well, they're lip products. I used to collect back in the day, like early 20s. I mean, I used to have all of their just regular bullet lipstick mattes. I used to have every shade that I loved. Um, then when they came out with their, what is it, their velvet? Their liquid lipstick line, suede. Their suede lip, look, liquid lipstick love that line it is more on the drying side but i really do enjoy it i picked up all those i had all their lip lingeries um which is really the first kind of nude line that thinking back on it that you know the makeup kind of maybe i don't know if the makeup industry but definitely drugstore like a full nude line and then i picked up a couple of their primers i still have a whole bunch of their lip products that i've repurchased because the ones that i had were super old um, and I have a couple of their, their um, Nexus primers, but I want to try some like complexion products. I want to try like maybe their Born to Glow uh, concealer, a foundation, um, a blush, a bronzer. I just want to try more of their products. I want to try some of their new lip products. Just maybe, hopefully, eventually the second half of the year. Not right now. Definitely not buying any lip products right now. Um, but I just, that's definitely a brand that I want to kind of look in store and kind of just have a feel for what they have now. I'm not a fan of their eyeshadows, to be honest. I don't feel like their eyeshadows are good. So maybe that's not something that I would purchase, but definitely I think their complexion products and their, um, lip products is where Nick shines. So, yes. This brand is Thrive Cosmetics, and I do have a couple of their things, and some of the things are some of my favorite favorite things like their powder number one powder that I have honestly um their CC cream I really do enjoy it I just don't like that it's chemical sunscreens and I feel like the shade that I have is a little deep for me so it kind of I'm on the ver I'm on the fence if I should repurchase an another shade or should I just use that shade especially with summer coming up where I like lighter foundations and you know maybe get a little bit more sun so I'm I'm kind of on the fence on that one and then what is the other thing that I have their bronzer I love their matte bronzer so everything that i've tried from them i've absolutely loved so one thing that is definitely on my mind to try is their um eye brighteners in the shade muna i don't know why i am obsessed with that like obsessed with that i just feel like i need it i don't have actually anything like that in my collection i just feel it looks so pretty one and done eyeshadow and I really want to try some other skincare too. Their skincare really intrigues me. And I feel like they don't come out with a lot of um, releases. But they're very well thought out releases. And I love that they have like cosmetics. It's spelled like C-A-U-S-E because they have a cause. And they give makeup to, you know, women who are... Women who have gone through cancer treatments or other medical conditions and you know diseases and then also um women who have uh, left domestic violence situations and they really do a lot of with that and i just really really love their entire brand and what they stand for and what they do behind the scenes and how she really um like carissa boma really runs her company it's really inspirational i love that brand i love the teal color Okay, so yes, I really want to try a couple more things from their line. Okay, another brand that I do have a few things from them, but I don't feel like I have, I want to have a little bit more. It's from CoverGirl. Uh, CoverGirl, you know, it was not cruelty free until 2019, 2019, 2018. I don't remember the year, but it was one of the 18, either 2018 or 2019 where they became cruelty free. And like, I was so happy because i hadn't been able to buy cruelty for, i mean cover girl since i was a teenager honestly when i was using again the mascara their lash boss mascara and then their coal liner a couple things from them and then i have one of their blushes which i've fallen in love with completely um i have their powder their clean powder line the pink one i have that but i feel like maybe i could pick up a foundation maybe a couple other cheeker blushes the little ones um, I feel like there's just so many things to explore from the brand, which I haven't really had a chance to. Um, it just really kind of excites me just even to look at everything in the store. Like if you, I go to Walmart or the drugstore, it just, it, it's exciting to be able to explore that and look at it. And I don't necessarily feel like I really have to buy it at that moment. Just kind of feel like, oh, maybe I should pick this up. This is really pretty. This is something that I should try. Um, so that's what kind of really inspired me for that too. And then the last brand, the plus one, is going to be the LA Girl 
um, LA Girl Cosmetics. And LA Girl Cosmetics was like super popular when I got back into makeup like 2017 when I really, really fell in love with it. Um, 2017, like it was everywhere. I have, the only thing that I have, oh no, no. I have a blush from LA Girl. I have their foundation, which I absolutely love, but I probably need to replace sometime this year because it's getting old. And then the other thing is their eyeliners. I really, really like their eyeliners. Oh, and their eyebrow pencil. I forgot what it's called right now because I don't want to say it's shady. I think that might be NYX. But their eyebrow pencil, oh, my favorite. The shade is so perfect for my eyebrows. I actually have one in my collection right now. I just haven't been able to use it because I have the Project Pan. And then I tried the Urban Decay Blade. Um, But, yes, my standout for me is, like, their Shady Biz. Shady? What? I, I don't know what it's called. But their Shady, um, their, their brow pencil, it's so, so good. Um, I would like to retry the concealer. I, I mean, the concealer was like the rage back in 2017. Um, maybe a lip product or two. Again, later on in the year for the lip products. I don't know. I just kind of want to re-explore that brand and see what they have to offer. Because what I have, I really, really enjoyed. So that's another, you know, um, cruelty-free and drugstore brand that I really want to represent on my channel. Or really want to showcase on my channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick video. <laughs> I tried to make it as fast, quick, easy as possible. I just wanted to have this out there because these are brands that I want to try. And just kind of, you know, maybe look back on brands that some people overlook. Or, you know, they just haven't been given enough love in, on, our, on the YouTube beauty community. But let me know your thoughts down below on this or anything else that you guys want me to film. Please let me know down below in the comments. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.